Perhaps I'm going through a spiritual crisis. For me, falling in love is like going to heaven. But commitment is like dying. I want to go to heaven, but I don't want to die. As my buddy Garish decided to follow his family's tradition of arranging marriages. How could you possibly decide to spend the rest of your life with a woman you only met once? Basically, there's two ways of looking at it. Whereas you had a love marriage, where you were in love with each other and you got married, Whereas ourselves, we're put into that situation which we both have accepted, we're put together, not really knowing each other, but in the process of trying to make this marriage work, we fall in love. Imagine if I was to marry someone that was non-Indian, because marriage in itself is such, such a difficult task. Why start off in the red? I found someone that also believed in the same thing. I'm talking about coming on Sunday to my uh, church, knowing what time the service is, knowing exactly what is expected from us here, going to, you know, relatives' houses, following the customs and traditions. At least with Hindu, she's already aware of, the, all, of all of these customs and traditions. I don't have to worry about that. Everything else uh, we may disagree on, financial, but that you would disagree regardless of the culture. While in India, I consulted a modern guru. Well, actually, a psychologist. Are you in economic class or business class? Marriage is a public commitment of a personal relationship. So it's socially structured, it's a structured thing. And especially in arranged marriages, you don't have that emotional relationship. And probably you won't have it unless you share the same amount of emotional transactions which you otherwise share with your brother and sister or parents. All I was trying to do was facilitate my life and facilitate any future problems that I may have. It's, is it an easy way out? Is it a chicken way out? Maybe it is, but I mean, you don't need the hassle.